This is the video walkthrough of Tommy Boy version 1. So after performing my net discover and getting the IP address, I quickly did a forced browsing using Burp Suite to discover various other folders that are off of the root. I also found the robots.txt, so of course I had a look and lo and behold, there was my first flag. So I went right to that particular directory and I can see the flag data and obviously Brian is letting me know I need to capture all of this data as I move along um, for each flag. Now continuing with the recon, I did notice that uh, there were some different ports open here. There's the SSH, then two Apache, and then this TCP wrapped, which is 65534. I did figure out that that was an FTP. Basically what I did is I tried Netcat against it and it revealed that it was the Callahan FTP server. Now when I ran Nick2 against the two HTTP um, Apache instances, I noticed there were a lot of CGI and so I wasn't really sure what I could do with that so I did spend some time trying to um, see if it was susceptible to shell shock or something like that. What I ended up doing was trying to telnet there and then performing a, a get request and what I got back uh, were the details of the particular page and that was actually quite helpful to me because it pointed to a particular YouTube video that had a hint as to a, a hidden folder name and that ended up being prehistoric forest. So once I started looking there um, that helped to sort of open up more more clues. So I started looking around in both the comments behind the pages as well as the pages and found this reference to uh, some recent comments. The, the recent comments basically took me to a post where um, we have the second flag. This is the second flag, yay you, dot txt. Now, when you actually put that in the browser, uh, it reveals the, sec the flag data for the second flag. So started reading some of these posts and they're, they're really quite comical. Um, but one of them talks about re erasing the prehistoric forest directory and going to the Richard folder. And when you do that, that's when you're going to see an image of the shocked Richard. Now, if you go ahead and save that and use the uh, XFIL tool on it, you will see that there's uh, an MD5 that's hidden in the user comments. That is decrypted to be Spanky, and Spanky is the password that you need in order to unlock the protected post that is on the page. Now this protected post has a lot of really good information, including the way to basically restore the site which is the ultimate goal of, of this VM. And also it talks about, or how to get into that FTP account. Looks like our username is actually Nick Burns with the password of Nick Burns as well. Uh, basically I just used Hydra and the Rock U uh, word list against that to, to get that. Once the FTP server comes back online, which it does go down uh, throughout the day, uh, once it comes back online, you can go ahead and log into the FTP account. Now there's a readme inside of there, which gives another clue. The clue is another folder name that is labeled Nick, Nick is Leet. Now, when you go to that particular folder, uh, what you are greeted with is a message that says that only Steve Jobs can see this. Another reference there to Steve Jobs, uh, the second reference. And so if you change the user agent that is used uh, to be that of Apple, 
then it will actually render a completely different page. Now you can easily do this in um, in Burp Suite. You can change inside of the the proxy options the user agent that you're using, and once you do that, then you'll see the different page uh, come and get rendered. Now then the next clue asks about you finding a particular HTML file. What I did was I took Intruder, Burp Suite's Intruder, and I actually have the, the RockU payload going against everything after Nick is leet slash. So uh, I started with test.html and then I just basically put my variable substitution on the word test to change it to be uh, the words inside of the RockU word list. And that came up with Fallen 1, and there you can see that I've got my status 200, and it actually reveals uh, the next page, which is our next clue. Now when you go to that page, you've got three links, a hint, a third flag, and then Big Tom's encrypted password backup. Now the hint is very helpful. Uh, basically you're going to need this password hint in order to open the zip file of Big Tom's encrypted password backup. The flag 3, the data in there is tiny head. And then when you go to open that zip, zip file, as I mentioned, it is password protected. Now a really cool tool called Crunch can actually take patterns and create a custom word list. So that's what's being done in this command right here. And it generated a bunch of words. And then if you take fcrack zip, which of course is a common tool used to crack zip files, and use that against the password protected file and then use the, uh, the newly created uh, word list from, from Crunch uh, it actually will come out with the password of for the zip file, which is this bev h 0 tr $1995. So then you can unzip the file with the password, and that gives us our next clue. Um, it actually inflates a file called passwords.txt. Inside of there, you see a bunch of usernames these usernames are for getting into the SSH accounts, which we'll come back to in just a moment. Now, returning back to the WordPress, what we can do is we can enumerate the users that are in the WordPress database by, by running the WScan with particular options. And that comes back and gives us uh, these four account login names. So obviously we're interested in Tom, Big Tom, He's going to be the one with the most power. So then we can use uh, a wscan command to actually try to crack that. And what I did is I put his name in a custom usernames.txt and I just basically ran um, the rock you word list again, but this time using w, wpscan to help me and that cracked his password to be TomTom1. So now we're able to go into the WP admin, go ahead and log in as Tom. You will notice immediately that there's a draft email. You want to go ahead and take a look at that because in there it has the missing numbers, additional characters that are necessary to end the um, the SSH account password, the clue that we saw in that inflated file, passwords.txt. So that's quite helpful. Now we're actually able to SSH into uh, Big Tommy Senior's account using that password. So this is the SSH password. Now things are starting to come a little bit easier. We can now see that there's some goodies in here. There's a loot.zip file. There's uh, the flag number four, um, which we're going to take a look at. When you, when you cat the fourth flag, you can see we've got our flag data. And 
the this in this clue the Brian Johnson he lets us know where this uh, fifth flag is unfortunately we don't have permission to to see that flag and the curious thing is you actually have to be the web server user ID which is www data in order to see that flag now if you recall one of the things that we needed to do was to restore the site from the backup so that uh, Callahan backup file is there so we can restore that into the the web server and then when you go back out to the site you'll see that the status the system status is online now one of the things that I had noticed as I was going through um, my burp suite and the brute forcing is I found this directory that is this patch for Fordhams or patch 4D for MS and I played around with it uh, it looks like you can do some file uploads didn't really see early on in the game where it fit in except for of course a web shell um, but but now this really comes in handy so what you'll want to do is um, I first tried to to upload my web shell as a PHP but of course I I got this message here um, and so that didn't work so what you want to do is after you copy your PHP reverse shell uh, you want to go ahead and rename it with the extension um, of a JPEG so that you can uh, successfully upload that because remember we've got that SSH account now so now we're actually able to just go ahead and change the extension back to PHP um, that makes it super easy I can go ahead and get that going start up my netcat and start listening and then boom I'm now the www data uh, user ID so I can go ahead after the fifth flag so the fifth flag you just uh, go ahead and cat that you've got the flag data now what you have to do is combine all the flag data together for all five flags and that becomes the password uh, to open the loot.zip file so the loot.zip was back in um, big Tommy senior Callahan's account so uh, when you go to unzip that you just put that password in and then of course you get the uh, wonderful message from Brian Johnson of seven, seven minute security really enjoyed this VM and um, I certainly look forward to more from him in the future